What's up guys, welcome back to another tutorial on JS Psych. So today we have two things. First, we are going to create our fixation point for every trial. And next, we are also going to create the feedback for the practice trials. So let's get straight into it. We are going to create our fixation point, which is going to be a HTML keyboard response just because it's it's simple and it's easy to um, create. So let's create a data. Will be screen ID fixation and type. I forgot to add fixation. Point. HTML keyboard response. And so um, remember that uh, it's, it's, just, it's the same as image keyboard, as, except that for stimulus, it's, it's a text rather than a picture. So we can just follow the same format, stimulus, but a, it's a text, so we have to put a quotation and it's a plus and choices because it's a fixation point, we do want any keys. So in JS side, we have to use this function JS side dot no keys. No. Key. So it's going to tell you that no key should be pressed. And then trial duration. Uh, let's set it at one second. And so we have our first um, fixation point. So we should also edit the trial um, duration here because we previously set it at null just to test it. But right now it's a, we're going to set it at 500 milliseconds just to um, make sure that it's running properly. And we have our first fixation point. So we will have to add the data here to the timeline. And then we can test it. So something's um, wrong over here. Let's check. HTML keyboard response. There is no plugin. So it seems that um, I didn't add in the HTML keyboard response. So let me add it here and then let's run it again. So you see um, that the fixation point is quite small. Um, if, you, if you are unable to see it, let me just put it um, for now for the moment. And let me refresh to show you. So look, look at the fixation point, it's quite small. So for any normal person, you won't be able to see it clearly. So you won't know that you look at a fixation point. So what we have to do here is to enlarge the fixation point. We can use the div tag to complete this. And so we have to set a style to, um, set the style, we have different kinds of um, style we can set. So what we are interested here is the font size. So we can set it at um, pixels, inch, um, um, inches, centimeters, millimeters, but we want to set it at pixels. So let's set it at 60 pixels for now. Um, we can also set it 120 if you want, 50, but I'm gonna set it at 60. And I'm going to set it, um, I'm going to add a bold. Uh, I'm going to bold the response so that it's, it, it, it captures the attention. So now you see it's 60 um, pixels and it's bolded. Could be bigger, could be smaller, depending on um, how big you want the point to be. But right now we have 
um, our first fixation point and that's good for now. Let's just leave it there. And we can set it at 500 milliseconds. So now we have our first fixation point. And let's create um, the next item in line, which is the feedback. So it's going to be dissimilar to fixation point, except that the stimulus is going to be whether it's whether the person um, did the trial correctly or wrongly or incorrectly. So to practice writing the structure of um, each timeline, let's type it instead of copying. So feedback, trial equals parenthesis. Remember to add the semicolon. And I'm gonna add data. So the screen ID, feedback, and type is HTML keyboard response, comma, stimulus, and choices. So for choices, remember it's JS site dot no keys and trial duration let's set that now to test it so for stimulus we need to know uh, we need to retrieve whether the person did the trial correctly or wrong so remember in our trial we have the data accuracy we need to obtain this data from the previous trial because this is another screen right now. So we have to obtain this data from the last trial. So we have to create a function to do that. So let's comment it. So to think about the steps we have to do, if the accuracy is one report correct and then if the accuracy 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 equals zero let's put equal just to get used to writing in a programming language if accuracy is equal to zero report incorrect So now we have the structure that we want. So right now we have to obtain the previous date, previous trial. Obtain the accuracy from the previous trial. And how we do that is um, the last trial var last trial accuracy so js site has um, the data the data is stored in js site dot data and to retrieve the data we use get so we this this gives us the whole data so we want the last data or the last trial so we have last n so we want to last the nearest one. So last one trial. And we want the values. So this gives us an array of all the um, parameters or all the columns or all the uh, values, all the, you can see all the values of that trial which includes the key press, the accuracy, the correct response, the response, the trial ID and everything. So this is an array we want it in. Um, so you just want the values. And we can retrieve, we can see there are all, all these are the um, 
columns you could say in if you if you open in Excel these are the columns and what we want is the accuracy so we have our last file accuracy right now we need to put it into a if statement so if correct then do something if correct if accuracy last file accuracy is equals to one then we have to return correct else if it's not one it is zero because remember um here in line 70 if the key press is same as a response correct response it's one if not it is zero if even if they did not respond it is still zero so we might want to um, change it later to tell them that they didn't respond but uh, right now we can just do it um, more simplest way return incorrect so let's remove the comments and let's add the feedback trial to the procedure. So trial duration is now, um, trial duration is 500. Okay, let's test this. So incorrect, um, I didn't, answer in time it's incorrect so next one i know it is an orange trial because we only have two trials so it gets stuck here because um there is no key response so let's change it to 100 milliseconds and run it again so i did it correctly and now i did it wrongly it's going to tell me whether i did correct or wrong so um, Justin, you would have noticed that the words are also quite small. So because it's set at the same font size as the fixation point, so we need to change the um, size of that text. So we can do that by using div again. Div style font size 60 pixel. And remember to close it. And we can also do the same for the incorrect um, response. 60 pixel incorrect and close the tag. Let's just also add a bolded, res um, bolded response so they know um, that they did correctly or wrong. Just catch your attention. So let's refresh, correct, and wrong, and correct. Oh, I press correctly because, um, yeah, 39 and 39, so it's correct. So um, Jess, I will also note or take down the feedback trial as another response. So we're actually not interested in that. So when we are doing your data cleaning, you can remove any trial that has the ID with feedback or those that you're not interested in. So that's it for today. So we have learned how to create our fixation point and also create a feedback for the practice trial. So thank you for watching this tutorial. Hope to see you in the next one.